Today we listen to Jesus and St. Faustina speaking on following the will of God. We read in paragraph 1107. Today during meditation, God gave me inner light and the understanding as to what sanctity is and of what it consists. Although I have heard these things many times in conferences, the soul understands them in a different way when it comes to know them through the light of God which illuminates it. Neither graces nor revelations nor raptures nor gifts granted to a soul make it perfect, but rather the intimate union of the soul with God. These gifts are merely ornaments of the soul, but constitute neither its essence nor its perfection. My sanctity and perfection consist in the close union of my will with the will of God. God never violates our free will. It is up to us whether we want to receive God's grace or not. It is up to us whether we will cooperate with it or waste it. And in paragraph 1244, the Blessed Mother instructs Saint Faustina as follows. It is impossible for one to please God without obeying His holy will. My daughter, I strongly recommend that you faithfully fulfill all God's wishes, for that is most pleasing in His holy eyes. I very much desire that you distinguish yourself in this faithfulness in accomplishing God's will. Put the will of God before all sacrifices and holocausts. And in paragraphs 954 and 955, we hear Jesus himself confirm the delight God takes in souls who follow his will. Today after Holy Communion, the Lord told me, My daughter, my delight is to unite myself with you. It is when you submit yourself to my will that you give me the greatest glory and draw upon yourself a sea of blessings. I would not take such special delight in you if you were not living by my will. Today I heard these words in my soul, most pleasing to my father. Know, my daughter, that the entire Holy Trinity finds its special delight in you. Because you live exclusively by the will of God. No sacrifice can compare with this. Sometimes we may fall short of fulfilling God's will, but humility provides additional merit. We read in paragraph 1566. When I was apologizing to the Lord Jesus for a certain action of mine which a little later, turned out to be imperfect. Jesus put me at ease with these words. My daughter, I reward you for the purity of your intention, which you had at the time when you acted. My heart rejoiced that you had my love under consideration at the time you acted and that in so distinct a way. And even now, you still derive benefit from this, 
that is, from the humiliation. Yes, my child, I want you to always have such great purity of intention in the very least things you undertake. And finally, in paragraph 904, we again listen to Jesus who affirms that we should always follow the will of God. During my meditation, I heard these words, My daughter, you give me most glory by patiently submitting to my will, and you win for yourself greater merit than that which any fast or mortification could ever gain for you. Know, my daughter, that if you submit your will to mine, you draw upon yourself my special delight. This sacrifice is pleasing to me and full of sweetness. I take great pleasure in it. There is power in it.